ES Audio. Hello, I'm John Weeks. This is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Let's go. Coming up, the YouTube feature that might become premium only. But first, a data scientist from the Mozilla Foundation has told the Evening Standard YouTube users are going to drastic measures to avoid the site's own recommendation engine. We heard from a lot of people that are really fed up with YouTube and are going to quite extreme measures to try to control their experience of using private browsing tabs, using extensions to eliminate recommendations, all sorts of things like that. Jesse McCroskey spoke to us about their research, which found that YouTube's user controls, like its dislike and do not recommend buttons, didn't work effectively. Jesse told us social media sites often use recommendation tools which prioritise content users are likely to click on rather than things they actually want to see and said it's a good example of what's known as good hearts law. Basically what that says is that when you optimise really aggressively for some proxy of a measure you care about, you break the association between what you truly care about and what you're optimising for. So in this case, you break the association between content people like and content people will click on. The Mozilla Foundation's research found people on YouTube didn't like this way of seeing content. But Jesse told us, unfortunately, that's how these companies make money. Optimising for engagement is aligned really well with how these companies make money, so they keep doing it, even though they're starting to recognise that it's not really a good way to give people what they want. I think TikTok is a great example of this. They've been so successful because they just really aggressively find stuff that's going to keep people in the app for hours. Staying with YouTube, it looks like the company is trying to make watching videos in 4K a paid-for feature. People on Reddit and Twitter have posted screenshots showing the 4K option, which is usually free to everyone, as a premium feature. It's prompted fears 4K watching might become an option exclusively for those who pay a monthly subscription. It's reported YouTube were simply testing out the feature as part of their regular experiments on the platform, but there's no news yet on whether it will or won't officially become a premium-only option. Now, Kanye West is still blocked out of Instagram and Twitter. The rapper known as Ye reportedly posted anti-Semitic messages on both platforms. Twitter has said that his official account has been locked due to a violation of the social media site's policies. It's unclear how long he'll be locked out for. It's reported ministers in the UK are planning to block solar farms from being set up on agricultural land. The Guardian claims that new Environment Secretary Ranil Jayawardena is against solar panels being set up on farmland because it impedes his programme of growth and boosting food production. It's thought legislation is being planned which would ban solar farms from about 41% of the land area of England or about 58% of agricultural land. It looks like Apple could make the big switch to USB-C sooner rather than later. This month, the EU voted to make it the standard port for most devices, including all phones, tablets and cameras, by 2024. It's intended to make life easier for people who live across Europe, so they don't need to keep buying various different charging cables. It's reported by Bloomberg that Apple is already looking to ditch its lightning connector across its line of AirPods and Mac accessories within the next couple of years. Coming up, the iPhone 14 feature that's been sending emergency services to theme parks and why you can't trust your keyboard to keep your password safe. Why not hit follow and give us a rating in the meantime? Welcome back. A team of researchers from Exeter University have found exposure to so-called blue spaces like the sea, rivers and lakes during childhood can lead to better mental health in adulthood. Experts reckon building a child's confidence in and around water may stimulate an inherent joy of nature and encourage people to explore nature more often as they grow up. It's as mounting evidence shows that spending time in and around green spaces like parks and woods in adulthood is linked with reduced stress and better mental health. Now, a new feature on the iPhone 14 appears to be mistaking theme park rides for car crashes. The new crash detection feature is designed to detect when you've been in a serious collision and will call emergency services if you don't dismiss its alert in 20 seconds. 
But the Wall Street Journal has reported the feature's been triggered on some people's devices while they're on roller coasters. It reportedly happened to a 39-year-old who had several missed calls and voicemails from an emergency dispatcher asking if she was okay just after she'd been on a ride in the US. At launch, Apple said the feature relies on advanced motion algorithms trained with over a million hours of real-world driving and crash record data. And finally, researchers in Glasgow have found heat from people's fingerprints can be used to crack their passwords. The team from the University of Glasgow used thermal imaging cameras and a unique AI tool to spot the recently typed letters and numbers and work out what the password might be. They found 86% were cracked when thermal images were taken within 20 seconds of typing in the secret code, 76% when within 30 seconds, but that drops to 62% when taken after a minute. The team behind the study said it's very likely that people around the world are developing similar systems to try and steal people's passwords. You are up to date. Come back at 4pm for The Leader Podcast, where we bring you the latest news and analysis from the Evening Standard in London. We are back tomorrow afternoon at 1. See you then. 